sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house for sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm gonna put me a brat in a red hot foot long. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com Today we're going to do a meatloaf burger supreme It's real easy to do Here we got some fresh ground chuck We got some sliced bacon here We got some uh, mushrooms Here we got some pepperoni we got some tomatoes We got some jalapenos there got a green bell pepper, we got some grated cheese, we got a big Vidalia onion, and uh, here we got some barbecue pit boys vodka sauce, mm-hmm, want to check that out, barbecuepitboys.com, oh yeah, tastes good, and we got some spices, we got some pineapple slices there, and we got some uh, fresh, uh, Italian sausages. All right, it's real easy to do. Uh, the hardest part of it is getting those vegetables all cut up here because uh, what we want to do first before cooking our meatloaf is we want to cut up these uh, veggies here, fairly thin slice, because we're gonna we're gonna uh, fry them al dente in the pan. We don't want to overcook them. We just want to soften them up a little bit. So. We got a black iron pan there and uh, get some uh, olive oil going and uh, get those vegetables all cut up. Now we won't have to show you about that, you know all about slicing up vegetables, but you get them fairly thin. Now you don't have to uh, use all these vegetables here and uh, toppings it's up to you what you want to use but uh, this is like a spring pizza everything on there but the kitchen sink well, maybe there is some kitchen sink on there but in other words you uh, pick what veggies and toppings you want for this meatloaf but uh, this is the way we like to do it all right so the first thing we're gonna do here is we've got some Italian uh, natural casing sausages here and we're just gonna I'm going to take the sausage out of the natural casing. Now you can leave the natural casing on and just chop it up in small pieces. Or you can just go get yourself some uh, fresh ground sausage meat. And we're going to pan fry them. I'm going to take a, maybe a third of a pound of uh, bacon slices here and put them in the pan. Pre-cook them a little bit before we uh, put them on the meat bowl. All right. Now let's throw in those veggies. Here we got red bell pepper, green bell pepper, dahlia onion. We got uh, a lot of good veggies going on there. Man, it smells good already. And like I said, you don't want to overcook these veggies. You just want to soften them up slightly. Just about ready. I'm going to pull them off the hot coals there, just move them indirect. Now let's get this uh, meatloaf going here. Now you want to use uh, at least ground chuck or at least 80% uh, lean. You don't want to go any leaner than that. You'll have troubles keeping your meatloaf together. So. Now the idea here is first is you want to firm up this meatloaf. You want to compact it a little bit and uh, just make it like one of those square pan pizzas. You know what I mean. Now you compact it up like this. It uh, will cook nice and even. You, uh, you don't want it more than an uh, inch and a half thick. Now we put the uh, put the meatloaf there opposite the hot coals because we're going to be doing it indirect here. And here we got some uh, spices. You've seen us use these spices before. Uh, 
basically a couple different kinds of pepper, granulated garlic, some gran and uh, some salt. All right. Now let's put a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce on here. We happen to have our barbecue pit boy sauce. You can use a tomato sauce or tomato paste, whatever you got on the shelf. You just want to spread a thin layer. Now you want to grab some uh, shredded cheese here. This here is uh, mozzarella and romano, and parmigiano, whatever cheese you got hanging around will work. This tastes real good in this uh, meat loaf burger supreme. All right, all right. Here's a good part. You want to put all your toppings now. Cover that meat loaf real thick. Man, you getting hungry or what? All right. Here I've got some pepperoni. I'm gonna spread them all over. Man, we got some sliced pineapple here. Like I said, this is a supreme meatloaf. All right. And then if you want, you can throw some sliced jalapeno on there. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to this. And then one last thing, of course this is optional. We have a little hardwood here. Because we want to add a little uh, little smoky flavor to this meatloaf. Use whatever hardwood you got around. Alright. Now it was easy now, was it? Alright. Yep. Now we're going to cook this about 225, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's going to take maybe 45 minutes or to an hour. Okay, I'll grab this and grab that. Yep. Now we're about uh, 15, 20 minutes into this cooking. We're going we're gonna to switch this, uh, this pan around here so it heats kind of evenly. And uh, this way we can uh, drain some of that uh, fat. If you've got one of those turkey basters, you can pull that fat right out of there. You want to pull as much of that fat off as you can. All right. Does that look good or what? Man, I think it's time to eat. So this is taking, like I said, about uh, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Your time will vary depending on how hot your coals are, what temperature you're cooking at, but you know you can check it. See how well done it is on the inside. This is done perfect, all right. In fact, let's, uh, let's cut a couple slices right now. Man, can you smell that? It smells good. We got a little fresh uh, cut up tomatoes there. Now you can uh, serve this meatloaf traditional. Maybe a little bread here. We got some rice. We got some uh, coleslaw. Whatever sides you like. But uh, since we're making a meatloaf burger supreme here, this is the way we like to eat it. Try a little bit of this right now. Mm -hmm. Man, it tastes good. In fact, uh, I'm going to take a big bite out of this uh, meatloaf burger supreme right now. Left to do now, but to crank up the music a little bit. Watch us eat a little bit more of that meatloaf burger spring.
you're looking for a meatloaf, a burger recipe, or the grill, you check out barbecuepitboys.com. 